Hey students, this is lesson 731. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to solve systems of equations using the graphing method. Uh, we're going to go right away to page 2 in your packet here. And uh, we're going to look at number 2. Uh, it says, consider the equations 3 and 4. Could you graph the solutions of 2x plus y equals 7? Could you graph the solutions of 3x minus y equals 3? Explain. The answer is yes. Those are just linear equations, so the graph would be a line. And uh, so let's go ahead and graph those. And when we graph them, those are all the points that make each of those equations true. So to do that, we're going to make a table. And I need a room here, but here's my table for this one, 2x plus y equals 7. Um, if 2x plus y equals 7, then we know that uh, if I solve it for y, I would just subtract 2x from both sides. So y would equal negative 2x plus 7. So when x is 0, y would be 7, the y-intercept. And when x is 1, y would be 5. When x is 2, y would be 3, etc. I'm, uh, the slope is negative 2, so every time I go up 1 and x, I'm going to be going down 1 and y. And then I would graph those, 0, 7, right there, 1, 5, 2, 3, and so on. And we could continue using a slope of negative 2 to fill in the rest of those points. And then we could draw a line through those. And if we solve the other equation for y, this one, uh, I could do that by subtracting 3x from both sides and then dividing both sides by negative 1. And if we do that, we get y equals 3x minus 3. So the points for that equation, the y-intercept is negative 3. Every time x goes up by 1, y goes up by 3. So I get these points. And if I graph those, 0, negative 3, 1, 0, 2, 3, 3, 6, and so on. And if I draw a line through those, I get this graph. And uh, the next question, D says, at what point do, at what point or points do they meet? They meet at one point, and that point is 2, 3. And then it says, what values of x and y make both this equation and this equation true? That is, what is the solution of this system of equations? So that's what we're talking about, a solution to a system, is what solutions do they have in common? And as you can see by the graph and by this table, that um, they, when x is 2, y is 3. So we call that the solution of the system. And you can find that by making a graph and finding where they intersect. Or you could also make a table and find um, what values they have in common. Okay, the second one here, um, we're going to solve this system of linear equations. Uh, first, we're going to rewrite each of these equations so that y is alone on one side. So we're going to do number two here. So to solve this equation, 2y minus x equals 20. We need y to be alone, so let's add x to both sides. That gives us 2y is equal to x plus 20. Then we're going to divide by 2, both sides, and we end up with y is equal to 1 half x plus 10. And the other equation, 2x equals 5 minus y, to solve that for y, uh, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. So I get 2x minus 5 equals negative y. To get rid of this negative, remember the coefficient would be negative 1, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. And I get negative 2x plus 5 is equal to y. Okay, um, at this point I'm going to put both of these equations in my calculator. All right, so the equations are in there. I'm going to graph them using a standard window. 
and uh, you will notice that these two lines intersect. And it says if the lines meet, estimate the x and y coordinates. Now, just looking at the graph, you might look down here and notice that at about 2 is where they, negative 2 on the x-axis, and then on the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, about 9. So we could estimate the point to be negative 2, 9. Another way to do that would be to use your trace on your calculator and just trace to where they intersect. And it looks like about negative 2, 9. So that's our estimate. All right. Uh, and then it says, so uh, So we're going to estimate negative 2, 9. Then it says, check the, that these values satisfy both equations. So what we're saying is x is negative 2, y is 9. Does it satisfy both these equations? So we're going to do 2 times 9. So y is 9. Uh, and minus x, which is negative 2, that has to equal 20. And 2 times 9 is 18, minus negative 2 is the same as plus 2. And that's definitely equal to 20, so it works in the first equation. Second equation, 2x equals 5 minus y. Okay, again, we're going to substitute 9 for y and negative 2 for x, and we get negative 4 is equal to 5 minus 9, and that's also true. And so we're, what we're showing is that our estimate of our solution on our calculator proves to be true, that it satisfies both equations. So it is indeed the solution to that system. You can go ahead and try number 3 if you want. See if you can, if you graph that on your calculator, see if you can find where they intersect. All right, let's do another one here. It says consider these two equations, x plus y equals 5 and 2x equals 12 minus 2y. Graph both of these on one set of x's. This one's written in standard form, so we should use the intercepts. The x-intercept, that's when y equals 0. If you put in 0 in here for y, you would get x equals 5. So that's this point right here on the, oops, sorry, that's this point. And... Uh, if we solve that, if we put 0 in for y, or for x, then we're going to get the y-intercept, which is 5, because 0 plus 5 is 5, and that's this point right here. And then we can just draw a line. So we found our x-intercepts. All right, this uh, second equation is would be in standard form if we just add 2y to both sides. So we get 2x plus 2y is equal to 12. And then if I find the intercepts, so if I put in 0 for y, 12 divided by 2 is 6, so x equals 6. And if I put in 0 for x, I get the same thing, 12 divided by 2, y equals 6. So let's put those two on and graph them. Okay, and you might, what you might notice is that when we graph them, the lines appear to be parallel. So um, they're not going to intersect, and we would need them to intersect to have a solution. So we're going to say no, that it does not have a solution, and we know because the lines are parallel. And they won't intersect. So there's no point of intersection. And then question C says, how could you verify that... Um, that these graphs don't intersect by looking at the equations. If they were written in slope-intercept form and we noticed that they had the same slope, we could prove that. And I'm just going to use this graph to write this. Um, you'll notice here that the slope of this line is negative 1. So negative 1x and the y-intercept is 6. The slope of this line is the same thing, negative 1. And so that's equation is negative 1x plus 5 because the y-intercept is 5. So they both have the same slope. All right, one more problem we're going to do here. It says Booker is twice as old as his younger brother, Andre. Four years ago, he was four times as old as Andre. Write two equations that relate Andre and Booker's ages. So let's do this first one. 
let's say let Booker be X his age and his younger brother Andre can be Y years old. So then it says Booker is twice his younger brother Andre. So that's that equation. And the other equation we can write is, it says four years ago, Booker was four times as old as Andre. Well, if X is his age now, then X minus four would be his age four years ago. And he'll be four times as old as Andre. Now remember, Andre was also um, four years ago, was four years younger. So that would be Y minus four also. Okay, and then it says we want to write to uh, find the ages using a graph. So let's graph these points, x and y. Um, if x is 0, y would be 0 because 2 times 0 is 0. If Andre was 1, Booker would be 2 because he's twice as old. If Andre was 2, Booker would be 4 because he's twice as old. So if we were to graph those points, we would get 0, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, and so on. We could fill in all these like that. And then the second equation, uh, that's not really in a very easy form to graph. But uh, let's, just, let's just simplify this a little bit. Use the distributive property. Uh, and we will go ahead and add 16 to both sides. And then we get x plus 12 is equal to 4y. Divide both sides by 4, and we get 1 fourth x plus 3 is equal to y. Now it's in slope-intercept form. So let's get a couple points here. If x is 0, 0 plus 3 is 3. If x is 1, y would be 3 and 1 fourth. We don't really want that. Let's go up by 4. So if x is 4, y would be 4 x is 8, y would be 5. So every time every time Booker gains 4 years, Andre gains 1 there. So, and then if I graph those 0, 3, 4, 4, I get uh, 8, 5 is right there, 12, 6 is right there, 16, 7, and so on look like that. And what we're looking for is where they cross, and you might notice that right in here they crossed. So we would say that Booker is 12, and Andre is 6. And just thinking about that, right, that's his age right now. Booker is twice Andre's age. And four years ago, he was 8, he was 2. Notice that this is four times this. All right, that's the end of the video. Go ahead and uh, try a couple problems, see if you're getting it, and we'll talk more about this next time we meet in class.